Some young children are more anxious, and with a new school year so close, officials are putting a higher priority on their mental health. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. Anxiety and depression among children ages 3 to 17 up over the last five years. WRO's Destiny Patterson explains what schools are doing to help. For some, it's a silent, difficult battle. Mental health. We are here and available for them. Social worker Lizzie Gutierrez says she's noticed more students coming to her office for help. Oftentimes, she says their mental health is intertwined with other factors. Providing them with a meal for that day. Student leaders say they're doing what they can to bring in more support. Wake County School System is now offering in-school mental health services at 42 schools. Our school-based mental health program um, actually is in the process of expansion. In Wake County, there are 481 guidance counselors and 117 psychologists. Across the state, the ratio of guidance counselors to students has improved. However, it's still not where it should be. The recommended ratio is one to every 250 students. Meanwhile, the ratio of psychologists to students has largely stayed the same. It's been a bit of a challenge. Dr. Marius Pettiford with the Counseling and Student Services Department says they've faced hiring struggles. Why is it so hard for us to fill these gaps? There has been more need for employers and organizations to increase wages and reimbursement rates in order to recruit and retain. While the district works to fill in the gaps, Pettiford says adults should pay attention to behavior changes. If you have a suspicion that something's going on, then you probably should act on it. Gutierrez says support professionals play an essential role in personal and academic success. The teachers are working on the child's academics. We can work on um, the other things that may be hindering like said, their academic growth. Destiny Patterson, WRL News, Wake County.